It was very exciting. Stacy Airholtz has good reason to be amazed. For 10 years, she's battled multiple myeloma, an incurable cancer of the blood. Stacy has endured virtually every suitable chemotherapy drug and two stem cell transplants, only to relapse again and again. Then, just as she had run out of treatment options, her doctors at Mayo Clinic tried something radical, a single high-dose injection of the measles virus. Well, it's a very simple concept. Viruses um, naturally come into the body and they destroy tissue. And I received enough, apparently, to vaccinate 100 million people, which was alarming, and I was happy to hear that after the fact. In very simple terms, Mayo Clinic's Dr. Angela Dispensieri says the measles virus makes cancer cells join together and essentially explode. It then apparently triggers another lasting benefit. There's some suggestion that it may be stimulating the patient's immune system to further recognize the cancer cells or the myeloma cells and help mop that up more effectively than otherwise. After more than a decade of work on the concept, researchers say the final breakthrough came in the Mayo Clinic Cancer Center's Gene and Virus Therapy Lab. That's where Dr. Mark Fetterspiel figured out how to make highly concentrated doses of the virus, virtually the same strain of virus used safely as a vaccine. We've gone uh, in collaboration with the FDA to try to figure out a safe way to do that. I mean, that's their mandate is to, to you know, to actually support these kinds of trials and, and applications, but to try to do it safely. Multiple myeloma patients were chosen to test the concept because they tend to be immune compromised, meaning they can't fight off the measles virus before it has the time to attack cancer cells. And because the disease is incurable, in need of an equally tenacious weapon to fight it. It really needs to go in throughout the whole bloodstream and circulate to the whole body wherever the cancer cells are hiding. Particularly in the bone marrow of the skull, ribs, spine, arm and leg bones, and the pelvis. Other than the reappearance of an isolated soft tissue tumor under her skin, Stacy's multiple myeloma remains in check. Dr. Russell says the results are completely changing the game. We recently have begun to think about the idea of a single shot cure for cancer and that's our goal with this therapy.